，真係啊！講真，唔係我媽咪坐輪椅咧，我今日中咗記者噶，唔會喺度噶。歡迎收睇《打拼未來》，我係梁淑儀 Doris。呢樣嘢實在太令我改變好大，亦都我希望因為咁而改變咗個社會。Doris Leung Suk Yee, founder and chief executive officer of Diamond Cab, was born and raised in Hong Kong and attended Hoi Ping Chamber of Commerce Secondary School. A talented writer and presenter, Ms. Leung graduated from Hong Kong Polytechnic University with a degree in language and communication. After graduation, she joined the newsroom of Wharf Telecommunications, which later became iCable. She rose to be a principal reporter and gained fame within Hong Kong's news broadcasting industry. When, in 2007, Ms. Leung's mother developed a tumor in her brain, paralyzing her right leg and right arm, confining her to a wheelchair, Ms. Leung confronted the difficulties of the disabled in Hong Kong and left her career to start a social enterprise. Hong Kong's public transport makes it one of the world's most convenient cities. But as Ms. Leung found out, the disabled in Hong Kong face real barriers. In addition to danger, taxi availability posed a problem. Taxis would not stop to take a disabled person. Most taxi drivers had no time, no inclination, and no training to help a disabled person into their cabs. Hong Kong has more than 100,000 wheelchair users, but few vehicles are available for their needs. Before Diamond Cab, no company offered taxi-style access. The Hong Kong Society for Rehabilitation offered Rehabus, a system of over 100 specially built buses on scheduled routes, an accessible hire car, some 20 vehicles for personalized point-to-point -point service. But RIA bus routes had limited service, and accessible hire car had to be reserved at least a day in advance. Illegal operators stepped in. About 100 delivery van operators adapted their vans for wheelchair pickup. The illegal vans were on call. You telephoned, and within two hours, a van would come. Of course, if RIA bus were available, consumers would use them. But if not, the illegal vans were used, even though they could be expensive and unsafe. Ms. Leung wanted to improve the life of her mum and those like her, but a taxi service is a capital-intensive business. Each specially built taxi cab cost about half a million Hong Kong dollars. Each taxi license cost millions of Hong Kong dollars and the cost of licenses was increasing each year. A taxi dispatching network would have to be set up and taxi drivers would have to be trained. To realize her dreams, Ms. Leung turned to a venture philanthropist, Francis Ngai at Social Ventures Hong Kong. Hong Kong Social Ventures Hong Kong provides the financial support for social ventures. We hope you can use your money, financial knowledge and online, to create a new life for social ventures. And the next step, we hope you can use the money, financial knowledge and online, to create a new life for social ventures. 香港誒社會啊創投基金咧，即係佢個出發點咧，就係咧就希望賺到錢翻嚟就可以投資落去第二個誒社會企業個計劃。咁喺商界個角度咧，佢哋如果支持啊社會呢個企業嗰個做法嘅話咧，即係唔係話淨係啊喺一個投資個角度睇，但係喺一個所謂社會個責任啊個負責任個角度咧，亦都係一個啊應該係啊可考慮。
SVHK became the majority shareholder, joining minority shareholders including owners of elderly homes, taxi operators and individuals to invest total equity of 2 million Hong Kong dollars. A commercial bank lent about 1 million Hong Kong dollars, giving a total investment of 3 million Hong Kong dollars. Ms. Leung used most of that money to buy five Toyota Noah Well cabs from Japan. Crown Motors helped in importing the taxi cabs and the cabs were pledged to the bank as collateral for the loan. Diamond Cap itself is an impact investing case. We have Social Ventures Hong Kong, a venture philanthropic organization to support and invest in social enterprise, and we match with some co-investor. The largest investment was the five taxi licenses, more than 30 million Hong Kong dollars. Diamond Cab persuaded Hong Kong's largest taxi license owner, Taiwo Motors, to rent five taxi licenses to Diamond Cab. Diamond Cab, in turn, rented the taxi cabs with licenses to the drivers. Ms. Leung and SVHK got help from retired senior government officers concerning taxi regulations. It took nine months to get the licenses and the delivery of cabs. Hong Kong had about 18,000 taxis, providing about a million rides per day. Diamond Cab's entry was welcomed by existing industry leaders, such as Mr. Yum Tai Ping, chairman of the Kowloon Taxi Owners Association. Uh, 因為我自己覺得點到點服務是的士的最高的要點,但正正是因為這樣,輪椅使用者也都很希望有點到點服務. Diamond Cab taxi drivers were self-employed. They rented the cabs and licenses from Diamond Cab, and they received the fares from passengers who were allocated to them by Diamond Cab's dispatcher. The drivers were the main contact between customers and Diamond Cab. Driving for the disabled requires skills and a mindset different from driving for the general public. Ms. Leung recruited drivers through the Vocational Training Council's course, but gave them special training so that they would be both sympathetic and professional. It's really um, challenging to find some drivers. They're also caring together, and also they are very skillful in driving as a taxi driver who are self-employed without any basic salaries. That is very skillful for a driver to make his living, even though our orders sometimes are quite good, but still, sometimes they may be low time and they have to make their, their own judgment, everything, the skill. So, so ch uh, the challenge of driver's supply is also we need to pay attention to. In Hong Kong, where taxi fare schedules are strictly set by the Transport Department of the Hong Kong government, Diamond Cab positions its service and fees above regular taxi rates, yet operates on taxi licenses. Diamond Cab's drivers do not negotiate fares with customers. Price negotiations are handled by the call center, which then hires as a whole the taxi for each customer. Rather than charging on actual distance traveled, Diamond Cab sets an initial rate for point-to-point -point service at $90 and hourly rates above that. There are also cancellation and rebooking fees. In Hong Kong, most taxis are flagged down at the curbside by passengers. In contrast, Diamond Cab operated strictly on a dispatch basis through the call center. The call center was the first point of contact with the customer. It was tasked with explaining to the potential customer not only the system of booking and pricing, but the purpose of Diamond Cab itself.
the new nature of Diamond Cab's service meant that offering the service involved mutual education between the company and the customer. Just our mistake. Sometimes it's the mistake of the nursing home officer. Like they don't know how to book Diamond Cab. They, they thought they, they can pay later, something like that. So I need to um, correct their mindset. It's very different from those uh, services maybe they used before. So I need to talk to the management, the top management of the nursing homes or some NGOs, organizations, even some, some church, you know, they book us this, you know, just like a big boss that order us to do everything, then I will correct their attitude. As I said, um, we serve people, but we don't need to serve people without our own dignity. Since 2011, when Ms. Leung launched Diamond Cab, she has confronted the basic problem faced by all businesses marketing her service. My role is running a business to keep the sustainability to serve the passengers they are in need. Okay? So our marketing positioning is talking about middle class that they can afford according to our operation with a certain kind of cost that they can afford to cover that cost. If you cannot cover my cost, I cannot serve you just by your you know, insufficient money. So someone like donor, sponsor have to pay for them and then buy our service. Diamond Cab approached strategic partners, local NGOs, elderly home care providers, local chain restaurants, and places that wheelchair users would like to visit to participate in Diamond Cab service packages. It arranged the Mobile Gallery and the Barrier Free Charity Tour, visiting Fairwood Restaurant and Disneyland. Partners also helped generate non-core income from participating in the Diamond Sedan Chair Competition by selling Diamond Cab toys. 接著落來就是我們商界的夥伴因為只是靠安老院的客戶都不夠養到一架廿二小時運作的士 Diamond Cab approached NGO partners to help find donors to sponsor taxi service for the underprivileged. With sponsorship, an NGO could arrange a barrier-free event and distribute Diamond Cab coupons to the disabled. The NGO and the donor could achieve their social missions, and the donor could enjoy a tax exemption not available through a direct contribution to Diamond Cab, and Diamond Cab could generate more taxi business. For that kind of group of underprivileged, sometimes I will urge the social workers. They can get the donors because they're NGOs. They are, they are not non-profit making NGO or charitable organization that they can be tax exempted. So just donate to the NGO and then they can buy our cash coupon and then the cash coupon can send to the underprivileged. And the underprivileged wheelchair users can get the cash coupon and then just pay like the cash. Diamond Cab received nearly 30,000 orders in the first 24 months of operation. It has been recognized in Hong Kong and abroad as an award-winning social enterprise. Although Diamond Cab has achieved cash flow break even, its limited scale, High operating costs and depreciation of its cabs are major challenges facing Ms. Lau. At the moment, our cab may not be that sufficient, especially in daytime. Nighttime is too idle sometimes. For the next step out of this five, we are going to ask more impact investor. Either they own their own license and cab and then rent to us, and then we'll pay them the rent, but at a very low return rate. Another challenge is the design of the Toyota NOAA WellCab itself. The vehicle is gasoline, not LPG powered. LPG is cheaper and cleaner than gasoline. Moreover, the cab was designed in Japan as a consumer vehicle, not as a commercial taxi operating day in, day out for two shifts of nine hours every day. 
Maintenance and depreciation may turn out to be higher than expected. How long can a cab last? Diamond Cab sets its life at five years. General Taxi, they use LPG, we use gasoline. It's talking about one to three time, you know, difference. So um, the gasoline price is always high and, and, and always a great cost to our drivers. If we, ha if we if don't have frequent orders, then all the drivers have to pay much higher, especially for night shift, because they have to, to, to drive everywhere to find some, uh, we call street passengers. Actually, we are guessing if these vehicles can run at least five years, mm -hmm. because our long the repayment period is five years. If within these five years we have to give up this vehicle, that means we have to buy another new one to keep our business, to get the rent. But how can I pay back the loan? For all of the problems, Diamond Cab has generated considerable attention. Ms. Leung has successfully implemented Diamond Cab in Hong Kong. She would be thrilled if Diamond Cab could become international. She's received inquiries from the Middle East, Macau, Thailand and Japan regarding franchising the Diamond Cab model, but so far nothing has gone beyond preliminary discussions. On and on, so many people coming over the world will, will talk to me. Hey Doris, can you can you think about um, Diamond Cab out of Hong Kong, like to come to our country to make Diamond Cab? Blah, blah, blah. Every time when I encounter these kind of um, passionate people, I don't know very really passionate. You just talk to me is passionate, and I will talk to them. Hey, you have to find someone they are locally very committed to make this happen. I cannot move to your country and then make it happen in your country. Diamond Cab is the product of strong commitment. Commitment by Ms. Leung, inspired by the needs of her mom and others like her. Commitment by Francis Ngai of SVHK and other equity investors. And commitment by taxi license owner Taiwo Motors. The taxi drivers and dispatchers of Diamond Cab have joined Ms. Leung in her daily work and many partners are bringing in the service to reach more in need. In this process, we can show that we are working together to the same goal, that is to serve our passenger better with our capacity.